Okay, I'm going to attempt to teach you what I have learned, and I may be wrong because I'm new at this, uh, about color temperature. Now, my own artistic education was rather uh, limited, uh, and what I did learn didn't really involve colors so much. Uh, it was mostly sculpture. So, yes. Anyways, as I'm sure you all know, there are three primary colors, which means they cannot be made by mixing. Uh, so there's red, yellow, and blue. Now, if you mix all these together, you'll get brown. Or sometimes, uh, I guess in watercolor, apparently you get gray. That's something for another day. Now, if you've heard of color temperature, like if you've ever heard someone say warm red or a uh, cool yellow or whatever, uh, I'm going to explain what that means, or at least what I've come to understand it means and try and explain it in a simple way. If I get it wrong, I will take the video down. Um, but regardless, if it has not yet been taken down and I am wrong, then I would encourage you to read the comments below. Now, <laughs> I want you to think of like whenever you've seen a sink or uh, especially if you've ever been to another country, uh, a lot of times there are like colors on the taps, uh, things like that. Now, red generally denotes hot, like fire, I guess. And blue denotes cold, like cold. I don't know. And yellow is kind of like, eh, it's in the middle. And that's basically the basis of this. I want you to just, when you think of red, think of warm. When you think of blue, think of cold. And when you think of yellow, think of, I don't know, <laughs> because it depends on the situation. Because generally, if something contains red, it's a warm color. If something contains blue, it's a cold color. But yellow can be both. So let's get into it. Okay, now I don't actually own any com like completely neutral yellows, reds, or blues, so I actually had to mix these. Now, this yellow it's kind of an even yellow. If you look at these two, sort of compared to each other, you can see that this one leans slightly more towards orange. And this one, even compared to this, leans slightly more towards green. Now, why did I start with yellow? Because yellow is the flipper and it is not primarily red or blue. Now, yellow plus red equals orange, right? So this one leaning towards orange means it is warm. And this one, leaning a little bit more towards green, which of course is blue and yellow, is cool. Now, let's look at blue. Blue, <laughs> you might be able to see here, this one, like even just compared to that one, it leans a little more towards lavender, a little more towards purple. Now, what's purple? Blue plus red. So red is warm. Now, yes, it's primarily blue, but it's leaning towards red, which means it's getting warmer. Now, blue is cool, but since red is already warm, like that's what you need to, so anything involving red is warm. So that means if it's moving towards yellow, that means a yellowish blue is cool. See what I mean by a flipper? Now we're gonna see it again. Now red, primarily warm, but a red that leans a bit more towards blue, like see how this is a bit more of a, like just teeny hint towards purple. So it's leaning towards blue, which you should think of as cool. So this is a cool red. Now, <laughs> this one is especially compared to these two, you can see that it's definitely leaning more towards orange, which means it's leaning more towards yellow. Now, since blue is already reserved for cold, that means that yellow is warm. You get it? Now, examples that I used here, the primaries I had to mix because I didn't have anything completely neutral. But a cool red would be French vermilion, and a warm red would be bright red or um, pyrrole scarlet. Now, a warm yellow would be something like Indian yellow, and a cool yellow would be lemon yellow. Now, a cool blue, which is a yellowy blue, this is phthalo blue green shade. And a warm blue, so a reddish blue, this is French ultramarine. So the way I tend to think of it is like a compass. Now, granted, a compass has four sides, but this one, 
it's sort of still, you, you apply the premise, but you have to think of it in threes instead of fours. Now you have north, south, east, west, but then you also have northeast, which means it's not quite north and it's not quite east, but you also have north, northeast, or east, northeast, or east, southeast. Now these are ones where it's not quite an even mix of the two. It definitely leans one way or the other. So in this case, with the colors, I tend to think of it like this. So yellow would just be Y. A warm yellow would be yellow, yellow, red. A cool yellow would be yellow, yellow, blue. Blue is B. And so a warm blue would be blue, blue, red. A cool yellow, a cor cool blue would be blue, blue, yellow. Red would be red. A warm red would be red, red, yellow. And a cool red would be red, red, blue. Kind of like south by southeast or south by southwest. So that is how I have come to understand color temperature and a simpler way of thinking about it. Now, what's the importance of this? Well, as I said, when you mix all three of these, you get a brown or sometimes a gray. So when you're mixing color, you don't want to use a, say, cool blue, which means that it has blue and yellow, and a red, because that means you will be combining blue and yellow and red, and you'll get something kind of brown and murky. You generally want to lean more towards something like a blue with some red in it with a red that probably already has some blue in it because that means you're just keeping these two and yellow stays out of the picture. You get it? So this is good to know. So if you want to mix something and you don't want it to become murky and brown, you want to make sure that you exclude one of the colors or else you are going to get a murky color. However, that can add like depth and texture and it's good for shadows and things like that. But just something to keep in mind because this was never taught to me in school and a lot of the videos I found were quite confusing. So I hope this simplifies it. So again, like if you're, if you want a purple, you're not going to want to mix a yellow blue, which means these two, it's already got these two in it with a red. Okay. You want to start with something that already has a little red in it. Same with a warm red. You wouldn't want to mix this and this because you'll get something with brown because you're dragging some yellow in there with the warm red. <sighs> yeah. Uh, if I've got this wrong, please do let me know. I don't want to disseminate wrong information. Um, if this was something that was confusing to you, uh, still read the comments down below. I'm hoping that more well-informed people will be writing in and I do encourage you to do so. Uh, yeah. So hope this was helpful. Thanks and Speak to you soon.